Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is December 5th, 2020, and we're doing a movie club live stream. Let's talk about six movies that we ended up picking on the last movie stream where we're picking movies. And the movies that we're going to talk about are Dead Man, History of Violence, Safety Not Guaranteed, Brotherhood of the Wolf, Ready Player One, and Spirited Away. Okay, fantastic movies, some fun movies there, some intense movies there, some semi-violent movies there, not as violent as the graphic novel. Uh, that's the history of violence. Okay. And uh, while we wait for notifications to go out, and we've done a couple of these so far, two or three of these so far, I'm going to continue to do these. People are, are loving them. And uh, so am I. It's getting me back into watching movies, some of the movies that I've wanted to watch in the past, and some new movies that uh, we're being introduced to. So it's, it's a fantastic mix uh, belonging to a movie club. It's like a book club and a music club. And we're going to do a music one uh, later this week as well. Slick make, how are you doing? Thank God for Christmas break. Three streams in a row. We got more coming up. I set up 12 in for the last uh, couple of weeks. We've done three so far. We're going to do one tomorrow, one the next day, one on Thursday, a couple of uh, weekends uh, to our next weekend's comic book. We got a whole bunch coming up, so it's going to be fun. Slick Mac, uh, we got a we're, we're jumping all over the place, so it's fantastic. And while we wait for uh, people to roll in, let me tell you who I am. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, if you want to what this is all about, you can follow the work on patreon everything's layered on mathematics i don't put anything behind way paywalls everything's creative commons share and share a like and after a while if you follow this work if you think this work is um is worthy of your support uh patreon is a great way to support this project and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for your support we are live streaming on twitch the chat that you see here popping up is coming from Twitch. So if you want to participate in these live streams as they are happening in the discussion, Twitch is where you want to be at. Matt Wirt, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, glad to be here. Me too, me too. Thoughtnet8, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, hope you're doing all doing fantastic, man. I got my snacks set up, my drinks set up here. Uh, create a nice little cozy space for us here. So we're sort of switching up from the library where we're doing some of the sit down, open discussions and stuff like this. So it's fun. Just switch it up, uh, change the, you know, your living space a little bit, add a little here, move a little here, and uh, it gets you cleaning certain areas and gets you doing a little bit more uh sort of movement instead of sitting behind the computer the whole time especially during the fall right so having a good time man having a good time and for those of you who are on twitch thank you very much for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits thank you for using up your uh points cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well uh as kill finally it works it's so early in the morning for you what are you doing up i thought you said uh early mornings was better for you than late in the evenings late in the afternoons but i'm glad to see you here brother i hope uh, hope life is going well uh, for you i think you're in i forget which part in europe somewhere i forget which country thoughtnet yeah i know my username is weird i don't have a common last name okay but am i pronouncing it right thoughtnet thoughtnet i think and mods, thank you for being here and taking care of business. I do announce these live streams. Ronan, Ronan, how are you doing? I've never seen, I don't remember seeing your name. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming on the live stream. And if you have been here, apologies for uh, uh, not recognizing your name right off the bat. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Elo, Mines, VK, Gab, and and we do share additional content there as well you can follow the work there and all the links will be in the description of the video and you can come to our twitch page anytime 
uh, you want live streaming or not and go in the chat and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up as well as our discord page so there's a discord page that we have that a lot of people share a lot of content and there's a lot of chit chat going on there and it's appreciated uh, lots of open communication slick mick it's 1 30 a.m where i am where i am going to pick my sister up from the airport in on two hours for christmas so i'm pretty uh great ah oh, awesome your sister's coming over for christmas this is a great timing on the stream we're doing a two-hour movie stream basically hello from cisco Fr uh, franchetta cisco franchetta it's 2 30 a.m here in belgium belgium that's right I just finished the movie marathon. Ah, what did you watch? Eskil, what did you watch? Knights of Old Comic. Good evening. Good evening. From Spain. Spain, brother. How are you doing? I like Spain when I would tra uh, trekked in Spain. Alicante. I spent some time in Alicante. Alicante I really liked. And Ibiza was fun. Uh, and... Uh, yeah i did the whole roundabout barcelona was fantastic it was really good it was really good totnet is pronounced t hotnet tiotnet it's the first letter of my first name and then my last name but it's all good man okay tiotnet tiotnet cyborg fifteen nine fifty five playing avengers uh return rerun rerun but then Chicho went live. Ha ha. Valencia. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> went on a Quentin Tarantino one. Oh, a Quentin Tarantino marathon. Intense. Intense. Lots of laughs. Lots of what the hell is going on. Right? We are recording the audio for this live stream on an external mic. And we will be uploading the audio to SoundCloud as a podcast. And it should be available in your favorite sound. A favorite uh, podcasting platform including Spotify and iTunes what movies are we going over tonight we're gonna go over the name are uh, are on our uh, the main twitch page we're gonna talk about dead man a history of violence safety not guaranteed brotherhood of the wolf ready player one and spirited away okay Young Polacks, you're reading 10,000 points. Wow. <laughs> You've been watching a lot. You've been here a lot. You're racking up the points. Slick Mick, reading 5,000 points. Wow. Hellfire, reading 500 points. Wow. <laughs> awesome. By the way, gang, remember, we're going to do auctions, right? So you can use these points on auctions in the future, but it's going to be a few months from now. It's going to be like six months away or something like that right notifications were speedy gonzalez as she would say awesome carlos how are you doing so all notifications are out eh? cool 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 safety not guaranteed a spirit of wearing amazing yeah uh, for me safety not guaranteed was was super fun very very like it just made you feel good right and spirit of the way it was it made you feel good and it was just unspectacular right is my all-time feel-good movie very feel-good movie very feel-good movie snacks sure let me show you my snacks I got some strawberry liqueur very delicious homemade strawberry liqueur okay. I got a strawberry in there as well salute gang yeah I ask you the the auction was super fun i got a warm drink check this guy out this is let me show you what this is let me have a sip my partner made this this is oat milk with honey coconut milk a little bit of water and a powder thing called elevate and it's got creamy cardamom my nourishing lion mane and calming lotus pollen so it's got cardamom lion mane and lotus pollen right cheryl i i'm betting you're loving the mix right it's super good yummy and i got uh check this out i got some muffin here that i just went to the bakery today and bought it's like a bran muffin with uh um 
with what with like sour cherries in there brand muff muffin with like sour cherries i don't know if you can see it all like coming in and i got uh, some cheese like strong cheese like cheese and muffin go really good together it's really crumbly right like it's almost like a um it's not par parmesan it's like an asiago right it's really good very yummy slick mcchicho there seems to be an issue with messaging if i redeem 500 points it gives me the message for 10,000 points oh does it <laughs> oops <laughs> it should really okay that sounds great got to have warm for the winter got to have warm for the winter i'll look into it so did you slick mc did you just redeem 500 points or 10,000 points the last one that you redeemed yeah cheryl it's very delicious lion's mane is supposed to be very good for your mind yeah yeah a lot of herbal stuff and just natural it's we gotta eat well we gotta eat well gang really um especially as you get older okay and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube okay and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by subscribing uh, linking sharing commenting but on a mycology adventure this year nice nice fun guy fun guy and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership here there's a button and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support i'm going to take these guys down gang so i don't forget and gang thank you for the follows uh and thank you for the subs uh, when they when they're coming in apologies if i don't catch them right off the bat uh, i get distracted a lot <laughs> and by the way here's the movies we're going to be watching gang let me i loaded up the posters okay uh, or uh, movies we're going to be talking about and i don't know like notifications have gone out we're already 12 minutes in or so so we can ta start talking about these but we can go in reverse order okay that i'm going to load up right now we're going to talk about dead man with johnny depp we're going to talk about spirit away that's the japanese poster i grabbed okay we're going to talk about history of violence based on a graphic novel which is fan fantastic okay uh safety not guaranteed what a feel-good movie brotherhood of the wolf french fantastic werewolf movie which is uh cultish uh amazing action beautiful cinematography great color uh fantastic dialogue amazing characters fantastic story very good movie and ready player one fun movie right knights of old comic i had trouble watching latest bit shoot video uh do i need to be a member no you don't need to be a member sometimes bit shoot gets in a little like uh, what do you call it freezes up a little bit so you just have to reload the page um it happens to me when i'm watching other people as well and sometimes when i'm reviewing my own my own videos uh but they're gonna get they're gonna fix up all the kinks man bit shoot basically has full uh, uh funding going on right now they reached 100 percent funding on a monthly basis and they're rolling out a lot of stuff skl thank you very much for the tier one sub do a little thank you let's see what kind of emote we got cool look at this 2020 rivalry <laughs> fun crack how are you doing i love the pic you posted on discord <laughs> With the, between the different types of addictions comic book <laughs> full on right full on full on it was awesome it was awesome super good super good gang so gang should we talk about this movie have you guys has, has everyone seen all the movies we had six movies we we're trying to go for four we ended up picking six y yeah uh thoughted uh the discord is good coda how are you doing what an uh, eclectic mix uh love spirit away so many of uh those uh hayao miyakaza movies are gold they're gold there's only one which i wasn't a huge fan of which was ponyo and every, all of them are amazing like basically they're all 10 out of 10 as far as i'm concerned crack cheryl doing good want to get a christmas tree today haha 
oh i saw that picture you took on the sunset beautiful and the sky photo and the sky photo uh, cheryl says thanks i thought you'd get a kick out of that one yeah the, the comic book addiction one super funny oh you haven't seen any of these oh uh thought that i don't know how much spoilers we're gonna get but there might be spoilers coming so i'm not sure if you want to watch the stream uh if you're okay having some spoilers it's okay and uh, like all of those spirited away history of violence brotherhood of the wolf and dead man was me watching it multiple times so i'm okay with the spoilers i've only seen ready player one and spirit away really gay there are some good movies here discord is a great way to keep the conversation going once the stream ends yeah and we just put out a channel or a folder called twitch chat so if anybody wants to continue a conversation after the stream is done you can go to discord and there's a folder that you can continue your conversation or take it to another folder if you're talking whatever it is you're talking right carlos wait was ready player one a movie to watch yeah it was free assange free assange free assange right that's our bot reminding us to free assange yeah yeah ready player one was have you seen it carlos or no you're fine with it okay thought net perfect whoa guy how are you doing chilla how you doing homie doing good brother how's life long time no talk chat orale orale my carneles is uh doing fine homies <laughs> homes home not homies homes <laughs> i'm trying to do your uh the uh what do you call it oh what's that movie uh i forget the movie again anyway i'm doing i'm trying to do the you can you can say i'm trying to do the spm accent spirit away such a great movie such a great movie i just joined it this is a great community so i had to do awesome glad to have you aboard the dot net it's fun welcome to the gang brother welcome to the gang brother indeed indeed blood in blood out that's right blood in blood out what a fantastic movie what a fantastic movie great to be here carlos chicho yes i have ready player one became an instant classic for me i'm a sucker for easter eggs and cameos and ready player one has them in abundance yeah i didn't catch uh like the like the easter eggs and cameos i didn't have too many of them but uh but the whole thing the the movie was about easter eggs and cameos so i guess that's what it is they're trying to figure out what was going on right what's cracking chicho curb tim how are you doing why you not recommend blood in blood out movie you're welcome to recommend tomorrow we're doing a recommendation movie stream okay is spot of tea here tonight I, I haven't seen spot of tea he hasn't he hasn't shown up for a while uh so uh but i think he's doing well i hope he's doing well better than player oh more better than ready player they're totally two different movies uh blood blood in blood out is uh so different than ready player one so different ready player one is like one big easter egg with a story wrapped around it basically it's uh ready player one i found to be um uh, very sanitized right it was very sanitized very disnified right uh but it was fun it was a fun movie give me some chon chon america american me is better than oh american me is fantastic as well carlos american me is very good movie very good movie coda one thing i liked about spirit away is the pacing exciting parts but well paced and slower parts pixar uh movies are great but often a non-stop blitz of colorful action which can be uh, yeah uh, which can be uh uh, a bit much yeah and pixar movies are they the older pixar movies they have a slower pace to them as well the newer pixar movies they've been disnified right so they're very they're trying to sell toys and games and stuff with them spirit of the way is about telling the story but we're ready player one that's the conversation right now at some point we're going to switch it up to the next movie well guy chicho you know what chun chun means chun chun i don't know what chun chun means Junjun, Junjun in Armenian means uh, 
someone you care about to a certain degree crack tomorrow is the recommendation stream i'll try to be there for for yeah recommendation stream should go well so ready player of one gang uh what did you guys love about it so much i've heard people say it's, it's their favorite movie for me it was just a fun movie young polacks oh my god i had a banger banger movie in my head to recommend but i forgot oh no remember it by tomorrow oh you th I, th I thought american me was amazing man blood and blood out they're both on the same caliber as far as i'm concerned got to get some uh more Jurjowski on the rotation for elder god <laughs> hilarious <laughs> holy mountain uh, i'm still really young but i'm starting to get into cinema and i started to watch all the call classic film is definitely an, a, an interesting topic altogether indeed thought bit there's a lot of amazing films out there that uh sort of lay low uh or lay bare uh our issues in our societies and individual personal choice and reality life individuality existential stuff it's amazing great there are movies out there that make you think hard miyakazi does let his films breathe that's a good way of putting it Chicho, even Bill Cosby is featured in Blood and Blood. I can't remember Bill Cosby. <laughs> he loves it. Ah, regarding uh, Elder God, I was told to watch Gumo. Oh, I've seen Gumo. Looked into it, and it looks very different. Gumo, that's the Japanese one. Uh, I saw that in the theater. That's the sort of a Japanese gangster one, which is trippy as hell with lots of breast milk. I saw that in the theater when it was uh, first making the waves through the international movie film. Fel loved it. Loved it. Trippy. Trippy, trippy. Nights of Will Come Chicho. Ready Player One is like many blockbusters. Enjoyable while watching, but forgettable as soon as you're done. That's the way I felt about it. Really. It was fun. It was fun, but it didn't stick. Right? Initially, I thought I hadn't seen it. And then when I started watching it i realized oh wow i saw this a, a few years ago when it first came out i think or when it was first available uh on a streaming network <laughs> to be watched uh, but i'd forgotten about it right so it was enjoyable fun movie popcorn movie but didn't stick with you like for example for me anyway spirited away or a history of violence well guy carlos chicho in uh chicho in blood in blood out you got latinos the polar bears and the g uh, bga american only only have two two factions i would love i wouldn't mind watching blood and blood out which i've already seen like three times and american me which i've only seen twice uh back to back again what time is the stream tomorrow tomorrow's stream is 5 p.m pdt my time Gonna be great to recommend some some of my favorites tomorrow. Indeed, yeah, drop by. We love to hear it, Matt. Daki, daking, stay daking, daking, stay daking. Hey, Chicho, I think Ready Player One is definitely a better book than movie. Okay, I haven't read the book. Uh, the movie was it was fun, right? But it was very sanitized. Like the ghettos were like look cool like it wasn't such a bad place to be right that they called a ghetto uh but a real ghetto would be really stinky and really dirty right so to me it was very sanitized jaws is a blockbuster don't forget uh slick mix says uh forget that film watch it every fourth do you watch it every fourth of july i ended up watching jaws again about four years ago and it wasn't as good as i remembered it <laughs> it's still fun but it wasn't uh as as a as much of a masterpiece as i remembered you ain't into cinema if you can't watch blood in blood <laughs> you're just a poser <laughs> what guy says uh 
<laughs> I think one guy wants us to watch Blood In, Blood Out. Carlos, Blood In, Blood Out is great. It's all preferences. Uh, great movies, both of them. Haha, <laughs> you're trolling with blood. He is indeed, indeed. Not all blockbusters, but many of the ones since 1990s. Yeah, come on, baby geeks. Crack, think you are thinking of another one, Chicho. Gumo is by Harmo Corinne, the guy who wrote Kids. Oh, okay, no, 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 I'm thinking of a different one. Gumo is a Japanese movie, I'm thinking about, and directed a few others after gumo oh then i haven't seen gumo i seen gumo <laughs> go G G oh, i forgot it started it's, it's got a g it's got a u it's got an m it's got a o gumo or something it's a japanese movie uh then i haven't seen kids was fantastic by the way intense intense very sad very sad elder god how are you doing some people can read war and peace and come away thinking it's a simple adventure story others can read the ingredients on a chewing gum wrapper and unlock the secrets of the universe rp1 had so so many 1970s 80s 90s references i was left spinning kids was wild kids was wild haven't watched it in years yeah me either me either chicho kebabs how are you doing oh carlos Doop. i'm gonna allow your comment automod zapped it because it didn't like uh sucker for some reason the only detail from ready player one that i can remember is one of the main characters wearing a joy division t-shirt i i i remember uh for ready player one the only thing i remembered from the movie from the first time I watched it was the race car, uh, them racing at the beginning in King Kong. Like really, it's it's in and out for me. Right, uh, just a fun entertainment movie. Right. What's Blue Monday by New Order featured in Ready Player One? Blue Monday. Uh, new order new order the band was it in there there was a lot in there right the the geekdom was going crazy muffin muffin you gotta eat with the fingers and cheese blue monday was playing at the bar okay i don't remember the soundtrack for ready player one too much ready player one also had a hell of a lot of corporation takes control of the masses through distraction yeah it did and for real right and it had a lot of uh, a lot of things relevant to our society right now with corporations want to control monetize everything right so one of the beautiful aspects i loved about ready player one was about the players the people wanted to make sure that the space that they could all go to was not going to be commodified right where advertisements everywhere and everybody's um um uh, identity uh, data was being monitored and stuff like this so that part of it was fantastic that part of it was fantastic I enjoyed ready player one for sure it was a good movie I ate I'm eating muffin and cheese muffin and cheese it's brand muffin that I buy from a bakery here and they make good muffins it's pretty good you won't see it because the light oh. and uh, sort of like Asiogo cheese thank you for the follows gang by the way I like eating cheese Cheryl on the surface one of the things i like best about ready player one is that it is accessible 
across generations without needing the wink wink moments that Disney Pixar use. Very good point, Cheryl. Very good point. Eskil, yes, the band. I am a sucker for electronic music. Yeah. Yeah. Especially old school. Some of the old school stuff is absolutely amazing, right? Elder God. Actually, I hit a load of messages in plain sight, but only for people who lived the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. It was very 80s nostalgia, right? And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Look at this drink. So good. Oat milk, honey, coconut milk, water, and cardamom, lion's mane, and lotus pollen. Oof. Talk about deliciousness. Mm. The flavor is amazing. Ready. What I wish, what I hope about Ready Player One was if it could have been a little dirtier, right? A little bit more raw, a little bit less sanitized. Like, one thing that I didn't like about it, just giving you guys criticism of it, right? The avatars of people, you could tell exactly whose avatar was what, right? <laughs> who, who the real person was and who the avatar was. Which I found, if you're gonna pick an avatar, don't don't pick someone that looks like you. Pick something different, right? That would be that's the way I've played games, right? When I'm playing games, I don't pick somebody with a goatee, balding head, like like a chicho. I pick <laughs> I've picked different things, right? Uh, at least make one or two of them completely different. But everybody was who they were in real life, really. Elder God, after watching Ready Player One, I want to start a revolution. D really, Elder God? It got you that excited. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Cheryl, the celebration of an independent thought. The library scenes, for example, was also awesome. Yeah, the library scene was amazing, actually. And I love the, uh, the main guy, the designer of the whole game. I loved the portrayal and his... Uh, calmness and his his guru sort of aura about him all right he wasn't angry he wasn't he was more sad but there was a there was a tone of um, optimism about him right Eskio Chicho same man the old school techno house and especially those from the low countries are uh, just insane yeah yeah cultural appropriation was avoided cultural appropriation was avoided <laughs> hilarious gang strawberry liqueur salute homemade strawberry liqueur should we go to the next movie let's go to the next movie we got six movies to talk about You've watched Ready Player One five times. For me, that's this is this was my second time watching it. Yeah, Young Polax, um, I got more out of it the second time. The first time, I think I didn't like the sanitized feel of it very much. I still found it entertaining. Uh, but after reading your comments, yeah, I should give it more respect, personally. Um, because it has a lot of positive qualities to it. It really does. Uh, lots of oomph to it like Elder God says after watching Ready Player One I want to start a revolution yeah and the other comment some people read War and Peace and think it's an adventure movie some people read the recipe of uh, ingredients of a cereal box and the, what was it open up the doors to the universe or something <laughs> I, I, I lost it I lost the quote right so indeed Everybody sees things with a different perspective. And I love the aspect of them trying to prevent the corporations from monetizing everything, commodifying everything, right? Collecting everybody's data and how they 
they showed the corporations as being complete scumbags, right? Sort of a dictatorial uh, relationship with all the stupid geeks that are working for these tyrannical corporations, thinking that they're they're super cool <laughs> because they're trying to screw over humanity, right? So I like the way they portrayed that for sure worlds of gaming is. it shows how powerful the powerful the world of gaming is yeah indeed it does but for those of us who've or been in gaming no gaming uh, we know how powerful gaming is I, there are still people out there who don't think who don't understand how powerful gaming is but to me it doesn't make sense for them not to they're turning a blind eye to life really Eskil, i think it was more the world of pop culture in general but yeah it's pretty awesome cool elder god the 80s was not the happy world that nostalgia shows it to be indeed it wasn't gang right in ready player one yeah like they showed that's one thing I, I didn't like about it either they showed the 80s as being this cool thing and like one thing they didn't show about the 80s was the the roughness of it right the the rawness of it and they show a lot of people when they think about 80s they go oh 80s was you know the music was this and this sci, sci pop and these melodies these happy songs but that was a mainstream you go down the down and dirty you got the punk rock scene going on you got the metal scene going on you had a lot of heavy duty things going on back in the 80s right 80s was fucking dangerous elder god says 80s gang me growing up in the 80s the first funeral i went to in the 80s i was in grade nine okay in grade nine i went to a funeral of a friend who died of certain events right i had another friend that died or another acquaintance that died in grade 10 <laughs> right by the time I hit grade 12, I think I had already lost three friends or two acquaint one friend and two acquaintances, right? One last ready player one. I love that the difference between the importance of online and real in real life friends was almost non-existence let me read that again i love that the difference between the importance of online and in real life friends was almost non-existence non-existent difference between the importance of online friends the difference between oh yeah 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 because online friends were just as important as real life friends right is that what you mean cheryl no man is a failure who has friends yeah because right now like many people that are spending time online our online friends are just as important as in real life friends some more so than others right with some online friends we're way more open than we are with in real life friends so that was super cool too indeed Cheryl good point good point and uh, dude it uh, like it, it was it, it was a weird feeling right at the time you don't really understand what's going on but it wasn't my loss it was there nothing compared to what the family was going through right the family was going through poof, crazy times social uh, no social media to talk social issues you went out and kicked the hell out of someone to solve a situation yeah like the pastime there was a lot of physical activity going on if you want to put it that way uh, no elder god in canada too there was like one of the most dangerous places you could go to uh in canada anyway one of the places you went to if you went to clubs and stuff like this there was a fight every night right in most clubs there was more than one Maybe bottles breaking on people's heads and it wasn't it was there was a lot of 
built up anger and frustration in the 80s like they're making 80s seem like la la land with people jumping on mushrooms and everybody doing love dances and stuff like that it wasn't like that all right it was a lot of segregation different groups of people lots of different groups of people right this is a wonderful life it's a wonderful life in uh, ready player one i talk more to some people here in chat than i do to some family members huh uh Eskiel, you're not alone me too me too knights of old common pretty silly but it's a wonderful life is in my top 10 favorite movies it's a wonderful life is an amazing movie it's an amazing movie gang if you haven't seen it watch it it's beautiful right segregation is an excellent description of the 80s yeah 80s was very much this group this group this group this group this group it was crazy 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 and the music they listened to sort of defined the groups there was some music that carried over from uh, between all the all the groups clock time is that all okay gang we're moving on to the next movie ready brotherhood of the wolf brotherhood of the wolf what a fantastic movie one of the best french cinema french films of all time as far as i'm concerned i haven't seen too many i've probably seen a couple of dozen over my lifetime what an amazing movie brotherhood of the wolf if you're into werewolf movies fantastic if you're into fighting movies fantastic if you're into world building fantastic if you're into loving characters uh falling in love with characters and the uniqueness of them fantastic it it had some of the issues of a ready player one it was a little bit sanitized it wasn't as dirty as it could be but it was phenomenal it was it was it had a lot of bling to it right did you just swoon <laughs> cheryl says to elder god elder god goes oh my god yeah i think elder god this was probably elder god's most favorite uh favorite movie out of the six right i don't know how you guys felt about it uh, i loved it what a fantastic movie knights of old comic haha the end of it it's it's a wonderful life gets me everything in the tear jerker man tear jerker tear jerker his happiness when he's running down the street calling everybody's name wow so good so good right ask you i can't speak for everyone in europe but for me here in belgium the segregation is still very much present people here are very conservative um Eskiel, i went to europe in 1998 and for me i i told people this and i think i mentioned this i found europe to be extremely racist back in 1998 okay it was it's and it was really segregation kebabs redeem 500 points uh. <laughs> that's me with a beard with my tongue out <laughs> the picture <laughs> funny but really brotherhood of the wolf gang i don't know how many of you guys have seen it what a fantastic movie i hope you watched it and if you haven't watched it i hope you do okay salute to all those who kill where kill fight against the brotherhood of the wolf very good brother of the wolf elder god every character bearing one were real people of the time of the movie and it's based on real events is it based on real events elder god really i didn't know that i didn't realize it was based on real events i i i don't want to give any spoilers but there's a little bit of uh power play taking place so it was based on real events and the characters uh were real supposed to be real people it 
it's all political. It's all political. I didn't want to say the political word, but power play, I said, but Elder God gave it away. It's all politics, but beautiful. It's like, just imagine a Bruce Lee movie, right? But uh, expensive made, right? High budget Bruce Lee movie. Like, man, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? Carlos, I've never heard of this movie, but I think I'm going to look into it. The older I get, the more refined my taste buds are, and the more interested I become in good film. Yeah, Carlos. And that's the thing, gang. When you're young, if you watch a kid walking around, kids put everything in their mouths because they get a sense of what things are by putting things in their mouths, right? So they put shit in their mouth and stones and wood and like everything, right? As you get older, when you're young, you tend to eat everything. You go to McDonald's and eat crap and you eat hot dogs. And as you get older, you realize you don't want to eat shit anymore, right? Same way with movies. You're not into watching shitty movies anymore, crappy movies anymore. You want to watch phenomenal movies if you want to watch a sort of b movie that just lets you kick into neutral and just relax and don't think right watch a legit b movie watch eight-legged freaks right but you don't want to be propagandized too as you get older right watch phenomenal movies gang uh Ron ronan says what time period does this take place this takes place uh uh, you know horse and carriage i don't know what time period it would be 1800s elder god what time period is it what time period would that be elder god check out the movie palm springs you might like it palm springs palm springs carlos keep in mind chat i was born in 1995 please excuse me if i missed some jokes and references <laughs> and please excuse me i was born much earlier than that so there's jokes and references that i miss uh that other people will catch right a cop being taken down by the hand of god with fighting mm -hmm. a cult being taken down by the hand of god with fighting that's a good way of putting it Eskil chicho spot on man the french speaking white belgians hate the dutch speaking white belgians they both hate all nine white non-white belgians is really frustrating sometimes yeah really it, it was crazy to me like it was insane to me right i i spent uh like the places that i really loved in europe back in 1998 when i was traveling i loved alicante spain that was fantastic uh i loved uh i had a great time in greece budapest was amazing at that time it was more like a port city it was lots of hustle and bustle lots of different people i didn't encounter too much racism there and ireland ireland was amazing those are the places that i didn't really encounter racism everywhere else i encountered racism it, it was prevalent like you could smell it you could feel it it was insane i've never in my life been in such an environment right wait we're not speaking spoilers we're not speaking spoilers 1800s mid 1700s mid 1700s then okay mid 1700s no it's it, we're, we're doing reviews and talking about movies we have supposed to have watched and uh t hodden i think i forget the name uh he mentioned he was okay with spoilers right so we're letting people know that we're talking about movies that we're supposed to have watched brother of the wolf love that cheryl says M manny was my favorite character love the historical tie to seven uh to seven year french and indian war yeah regardless of the tie to a real story yeah indeed it was it was a beautiful movie and you felt for the characters and when uh the main guy came out after the incident right when he came out to deal out the vengeance you were like all hyped you were like seriously the energy was amazing right 
Elder God, the narrative of the movie is speaking from the French Revolution period. Yeah, that part for sure. And man, the narrative of the movie, you've when you watch the movie, you don't know initially who that person is, and then you realize who that person is, right? But the story is from his memoirs from his days as a young man. All true. The killer wolf existed. The killer wolf existed. Really, Elder God. Phenomenal. Dude, if uh, if you know a link that links up this movie with the historical events, uh, link it up for us on Discord. I wouldn't mind uh, taking a look at it. Sylvia was pretty kick-ass too. Love seeing powerful women in historical pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was awesome. <laughs> the the prostitute, I guess. The lady of the night. Carlos Elagod. I haven't seen it either, but this is an open movie discussion. At this point, I don't I can't be upset over spoilers. It's on me for not watching it yet. Haha. <laughs> so go ahead spoil full throttle no worries cool 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 and the odds are most people won't remember because we're talking six movies we're reading them you won't you won't remember the spoilers that are given in general right but the movie might have taken liberties on the facts a little bit just a little bit just like this 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 much right Kevo Chicho I remember you mentioned the Queen's Gambit uh, a few streams ago worth a watch worth a botch i'm gonna give you guys my review of queen's gambit okay if you want to hear not review but i'm gonna tell you my issue with queen's gambit i wish they ended queen's gambit halfway through the last episode the last 45 minutes of the last episode they could have just ended the last up not even included the last episode loved everything about it except the last episode and the last episode was basically rocky rocky four with the russian encounter it, i didn't like it at all it was it was a disservice to the rest of the movie okay disservice to the rest of the movie but everything else fantastic Uh, ask you chicho i once uh i once no joke got called a traitor because my girlfriend is a syrian yeah said i was shaming my ancestors and such it really makes me sick yeah and i ain't lying lying to you loin loining to you <laughs> sorry lying cheryl laughs and ask you just going back on the europe thing look there's a reason why two world wars started in europe right there's a reason why if you go to europe there's pockets that speak a completely different language than another pocket just surrounding it right it's so so densely populated for so many different cultures right people are afraid right they're afraid of uh losing their identity because their identity is completely 100 percent associated with their cultural heritage right they don't concern themselves to be human they consider themselves to be this tribe right problematic problematic okay very problematic all you have to know is two world wars were started in europe right there's serious problems there kebabs okay so i'll watch everything but the last episode <laughs> i kept up you have to watch the last episode unfortunately but the last episodes as far as i'm concerned could have just been could have been five minutes but good movie good uh, good show the manny character was fiction but brilliant the cinematography alone is worth watch the cinematography alone the costume designs are worth the watch the setting the set is worth the watch the dialogue is worth the watch the narration of the movie is worth the watch brother of the wolf is worth the watch g lift the noid hello friend and friends hello hello how are you doing noid 
Glyphtenoid. 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 <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Cheryl. I had issues with my subtitles. None of none in the last third. And my French is basically non-existent. So some of the details were lost. And I still have a ton of questions. But the physicality told the story well on its own. And I have a good reason to watch it again soon. Definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. Thumbs up, gang. No, and if you're not friendly to me, more power to you, uh -huh. Carlos. What year was this movie released? Is it in uh, French uh, release? It's it's a French movie, and it was released. Oh God, when 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 did this movie come out? I think it was uh, early two thousands. No, two thousand and one. Yeah, a hairy trout is worth the watch. Ha <laughs> ha! I call it the COVID fish now. <laughs> Yo. Hilarious, super cool, super cool, gang. Should we go to the next movie? Should we go to the next movie? Next movie, it is Safety Not Guaranteed. Safety Not Guaranteed. What a feel good movie, man. If you want to feel good, if you want to, my take is just want to shut out the world and see the beauty of humanity, right? Just how delightful people can be right safety not guaranteed you love all the characters right it's just a fun movie spider-man how are you doing <laughs> i've seen that movie before i enjoyed it you've seen that movie before you enjoyed it Calistans. Hey Chicho, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Safety not guaranteed. Straight up feel good movie, gang. I don't know if slow mo is on or not. I'm gonna turn off slow mo. Slow mo off. Is it off? Chicho disable slow mo for this room. Okay. Here we got full mo going. <laughs> I, I it just occurred to me that we might be in slow mo, right? When we have, when we don't have that many people in the chat, it's nice turning it off. Carlos, hell yeah, I've seen this one years ago on a, a marijuana marathon. Uh, Umbri Plaza is one of my all-time celebrity crushes. Oh, really? The girl? That's her name. Calistans doing good. Thanks for asking. My pleasure. Thank you for popping in in our live streams. Is that the one about the time travel? That's about the one about the time travel. Yeah. Yep. I think it is. Yeah. I watched it in the theater. You watched it in the theater. Nice. I missed it in the theater. This was my first watch, by the way, gang. Thank you for the recommendations. Uh, really good. Just phenomenal, right? S kill worst part is by far uh, is the by far right is rising up all over Europe all promising to protect our identity and traditions yeah S kill the problem with that is because the left sold out to the corporations right the the problem with with you know we're keeping politics out of this but the problem is the two spectrum have failed us right center has failed us we have to eliminate all uh anyway we're not going to get into politics as politics i think the 10 days from now we just did a politics stream flakes cornflakes how are you doing glad to be here hope all is well doing good cornflakes hope you're doing well sng safety not guaranteed made me violent towards people who don't accept what exact uh eccentric people can accomplish it didn't make me feel violent at all it made me feel good it made me feel good it it like just imagine the the three people that went to the town their boss the guy you you don't like the guy right initially <laughs> especially when he goes i'll take the when he's sitting in the room in the boardroom and they, he proposes this story to go find out what this is about a classified ad and all the interns are sitting behind them and uh, the 
the boss i guess the publisher turns to him and goes do you want to take on the story he goes sure and he, he goes i'll probably need some help and she goes pick your interns and three interns put up their hand and he looks back he goes i'll take the lesbian and the indian <laughs> you end up hating the guy right away right <laughs> But then slowly as the story develops you start liking the guy because you realize he's got a real kind heart and he's not trying to be mean to people he's just being direct and his awkward self and he hasn't really understood what life is about and he's finding new things about himself about life and his his wants his needs you end up really liking the guy it, it was a good movie really spider-man will spider-man win the next movie club vote i hope so tomorrow is it spider-man you gotta put it in there eskiel chicho my bad brother haha -ha. went on a bit of a rip eskiel if i wasn't living in europe i'd be doing exactly what you're doing i'd be going off right now but i'm glad i don't and i'm glad i'm not going off right i go off on my politics streams current events streams man i try to let loose and it's a good thing to do it's good to have an open dialogue right elder god i'm going very far right chicho i need a rope to stay grounded dude stay grounded don't go far right they're going to use and abuse you right don't go far left either they're going to use and abuse you right don't don't follow into any political mindset don't do it gang those people in power they want to use and abuse you all right the worm hey hey chicho how are you doing the worm welcome to another live stream and free assange free assange free assange right Calistans, have you watched Psycho from Hitchcock? Indeed, indeed, multiple times. Great movie. If so, did you like it? And how did you think? Does it compare to modern horror? It set the. It it was one of the foundations of modern horror. Uh, I think everybody would agree with that, right? Hitchcock was. Hitch gang if you guys haven't watched hitchcock movies watch hitchcock movies rear window and vertigo and psycho and the birds and there's so many amazing hitchcock movies right and the foundation for much of horror modern day horror right cheryl i loved how many unexpected surprises there was in safety not guaranteed it feels like movies can be so predictable yeah agreed on that deal right it was like oh my god oh my god oh my god right elder god the inventor guy was amazing the training montage in the woods was fantastic yeah loved it loved it so good and the girl was so good and by the way that girl i forget who it was i said you had a crush on that girl if you want to see that girl the main actress in safety not guaranteed in a phenomenal role watch the TV series called Legion. It's about it's an X Men X Men TV series, but there isn't really X Men in there. It's it's called Legion, and it's it's uh, I think it was two seasons or three seasons, and it's a it's one of the best uh, superhero comic book TV series ever produced, and she's one of the main characters, and she was amazing, amazing. Carlos Chicho just can't uh can't him what can't himself when he has uh that beanie on we have to mention a bit of politics one way or another politics look man here's the thing politics governs our lives those people who don't want to talk politics don't really understand that what they watch what they eat what they drink what they can do in life is governed by politics right so it's important cornflakes rear window class yeah it is class indeed indeed clandestine psycho is my favorite horror movie to date really like how suspense was created indeed another amazing movie is, which is horror it's called the uh, oh my god what is it called it's so creepy so creepy it's about the sort of a demolition crew that goes into an insane asylum that's supposed that's abandoned and they're trying to they're setting things up it's called uh it's so creepy man oh my hair stands out every time i think about that movie what a creepy movie uh what's it called Na uh, session nine 
session nine gang if you want to watch a a movie scary movie which will make your hair stand out session nine so good and the scene when he steals the lasers yeah whoa so cool so cool <laughs> he played it so well right My, mark duplass is awesome in this movie carlos is mark duplass the inventor guy carlos can somebody confirm there's a famous scene where hitchcock is sitting with a gun and there's a very good quote about how the bullet was a sleeping pill and some sort man what an image i can't remember carlos matt love the scene in the woods with him playing guitar to her yeah indeed in the fire uh, when they're sitting around the fire no she is a geek's wet dream an opinion not a fact elder god says uh, yes awesome too about matt about the scene where he's playing the guitar in the woods when he wrote the song yeah and she's like all googly eyes for him awesome too ultimate creation hey yeah chicho been watching you on youtube for a few years this is my first stream of yours nice to see you live awesome to have you ultimate creation thank you for popping in thank you for coming over here uh this video we're gonna load on youtube uh yesterday's stream that we did current events i think we did current events yesterday we're not loading on youtube right we loaded it today on bit midsummer is really good too oh someone's recommended that i've found it on a streaming service i haven't watched it yet hereditary was for me the creepiest movie i've seen in a long time oh i don't know that one zibberdy hereditary can you link it up in our discord if you're there i don't know that one elder god i know i know that quote about a bullet i don't know that one about hitchcock it's on my list soon i hope cornflakes chicho a movie that reminds me uh, of reminds me of is a movie called rec it's in spanish but it's incredible rec one and two are good three and four are rubbish i think america made one called quarantine but wreck wreck is way better scary movie would recommend wreck it sounds familiar to me man um oh they, they, i saw one spanish movie it was horror i can't remember it now with tony colette midsummer is a modern day the wicker man oh really very good very unique cool 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 carlos midsummer for sure oh man I'm looking forward to it Zebrity, I'm not a, on Discord, but it's on Netflix. If you've got it, okay. That the okay, I gotta remember that movie. Hereditary, Hereditary. YouTube definitely not safety guaranteed. <laughs> Kebab, the ending of Hereditary is insane. It's Gefo, one of the scariest horror mind fucks of our recent years. Really, ooh, ooh session nine gang that's my recommendation for a horror movie man it's something else uh as kill says probably the most colorful horror movie out there which one uh, hereditary wreck now oh wreck wreck now that's a good horror film i think it tells different stories really wow 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 I gotta remember these i hope someone's making those yeah she was in it noid tenoid i like when there's a strategy element a lot like the cube oh the cube was so good so good the cube is amazing cube is so good gang should we go on to the next movie should we go on to the next movie we got four more to go three more to go history of violence a history of violence the relationship in SNG safety not guarantee was like one set in a high school maybe it's just me um no I think it was just innocent right Chicho Midsummer is the most colorful horror movie oh really okay okay 
I've heard it compared to being like a bad mushroom trip. Cornflakes, Carlos. Yeah, rec one and two are a link, and the way they do it is brilliant. One sound you hear in one is explained in two. Love it, really. Love the cube. Love the cube. And Canadian, Canadian movie, the cube. I believe it's Canadian movie. A history of violence gang. Canadian director based on a graphic novel of the same name and wow what a great movie I really like this movie right I like I love the calm coolness of it right it tells a story builds up the character when the violence happens fast rapid instantaneous over right which is usually the way violence is right when you see these movies where violent is happening people are shit kicking each other for 10 minutes 15 minutes and stuff like this that really doesn't happen in the real world in the real world violence happens flares up instantly you barely know what happened and it's over <laughs> right and hopefully you're still standing that's what the history of violence is it's one of the best portrayals of violence i've ever seen in movies best portrayals of calculated like trying to analyze a situation instantly and try to figure out what the best way out of a certain situation is right elder god can't talk about this movie very personal to, to you truth violence is in a three second dance indeed i'm with elder god gang like three second dance days of discovery yeah i love cronenberg even though i didn't see this movie yeah cronenberg is amazing right really you either love his movies or you hate his movies or you don't understand his movies there's only one movie that i've seen of cronenberg that i didn't like too much which was uh the accident movie one some people don't even get one second to dance some people don't even get one second to dance it's over that they're done that's how fast violence is that's how fast violence is i love eastern promises though eastern promises is fantastic as well fun movie fun movie i forget this guy's actor's name he's amazing what's his name um oh i forget his name and his politics is amazing in real life gang i like this guy right um uh, directing in this was so the part man uh, vigo more more tencent vigo more tencent thank you cheryl i dance violence very well but only for the only for defense like the part when this vince the main character goes to his coffee shop and he's he's sitting there thinking and i'm giving a little spoiler thinking and he's like trying to figure out how to how to get himself out of the situation right he's 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 analyzing what's going on contemplating what's going on what needs to be done where this is going and he looks out of his cafe into the road and he sees the black car just come up and he sees the black car and there's a pause and the black car drives off and the camera angle just zooms in and goes ooh, does a tunnel and he gets up and runs 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 what a scene what a scene wow that's who that is that is that is did you watch uh, Memento? Yeah, yeah, from Nolan. Yeah, I did watch Memento a long time ago. I watched Memento in the theater twice, right? Really liked how he mixed storytelling narrative. Indeed, coffee for one, sir. Coffee for one, sir. Migo Mortensen, uh, as in Aragon from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and uh, something, dude, I got to watch this effing movie he's awesome carlos you haven't seen this movie i think it's one of his best movies i think it's his best movie okay i really think it's his best movie 
it better than Eastern promises. Cheryl says great movie, but I kept being uh, struck by by how much some favorite actors have aged. I, of course, have stayed the same age, Cheryl says. <laughs> and free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Right. It, it's brilliant. And Cronenberg, man, the guy can tell a story like no one else, no one else. And he can build up suspense like no one else, right? Carlos, okay, history of violence officially on my movie list. Going to search for it online. And here's the thing, Carlos. Watch this movie and then read the graphic novel. I watched the movie, and when I found out the first time I watched the movie, when I found out that it was based on a graphic novel, I went to the um the library and found the graphic novel and I checked it out and I read the graphic novel and wow and then watch the movie again that's what i did that's the sequence i did i watched the movie read the graphic novel watched the movie again the graphic novel is a little bit more intense the violence is a little bit more brutal a lot more brutal and it goes into the details a lot more very good very good graphic novel okay Calistance, gonna buy myself some Blu-rays for Christmas. Looking forward to it. Awesome, awesome. Chicho, Sean, yo, how you doing? Hope life is treating you well. Alice and Robinichi, Robinichi, Alessandro Benici. Alice. <laughs> I just find out this channel and I'm already like like already like it. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. Like being here. Uh thank you for dropping in. Great conversations here going on and the people are fantastic. And we move it around a lot. We're doing movies today and tomorrow. We did current events yesterday. Two days ago we did mathematics. Two days from now we're doing economics. Thursday we're doing a cooking session. And then we're doing comic book readings. Oh my God, the Tom, the Tom person was brilliantly conceived. Oh, so good. The care, yeah, the characters in this movie were oh, so intense, so real. And here's the scary part: I've known people like this. They exist, right? They exist, right? The good guys and the bad guys there are ruthless people like this in the world and they're calm cool and collective okay carlos is this like falling down with michael douglas or am i completely off uh falling down is a great movie super fun movie but falling down is about a guy that loses it right he he, he has a mental breakdown right History of violence is not about a guy who loses it. On the contrary, it's a guy that is calculating, knows exactly what is the what is what the what the game is at play, where he's come from, where he's going, what he needs to do. It, it's it's different, very different. Why do the best movies always have a kick-ass graphic novel? Because comic books rock right elder god jesus Chicho, <laughs> carlos to alice uh, alice alice i don't know how to pronounce your name i'm sorry welcome to the chat man we welcome with open arms around here indeed always a lovely vibe here in general sometimes we get a little intense right Elder God, quote, we really are quite busy here today, as you can see. So if you gentlemen aren't going to be eating, I really should offer you seats to I should offer your seats to paying customers. <laughs> oh, so calm, cool and collective. And man, 
What a great movie. I feel like watching it again. God dang it. Seriously, this this movie I haven't had enough of. I, I don't know. This was probably the fifth time I've seen it. And it's just beautiful. Really. I know it's weird to say uh, about a movie called The History of Violence. But it's it's a magnificent movie. Right? Magnificent storytelling. And even though it is different, slightly, well, different than the graphic novel, like all movies are when they take the source material, right? I had no problems with it taking uh, artistic twists to it and portraying the story in this light. Okay. Very well done. Very well done gang should we go on to our next movie for your information most of the fight techniques are real yeah i'm i'm guessing they were i've seen some before and the fighting techniques that you see in this the fight scenes that you see in this are about ending the fight as soon as possible it's not about showing who's the tougher man it's not about you know prolonging it it's not about uh you know just making sure the other person understands that you're you mean what you say or anything like this when a fight happens in this movie and this is in general in in the mentality that you should go into a fight with you're not there to defend yourself or you're there to defend yourself but you're not there to prolong or or subdue a person you're there to end the fight and what's going on in this movie is ending the fight as soon as possible that's it no risks taken right you can call me alex my name is alessandro alex ah okay alex alexander in italian okay alexander awesome thank you i did not say this I was not here, Elder God says. Fanatico da footballio. Jessica, how are you doing? Jessica Hot Jams. Unusual for a Cronenberg movie. Didn't know it was based on a graphic novel. Yeah. And it, it wasn't as trippy, as psychedelic as most Cronenberg movies, by the way. This had very little psych... None. Very little psychedelic classic psychedelic cronenberg feel to it right very good point but it still was a cronenberg movie you could you could sense it right communication of violence the statue statue version <laughs> should we go to the next movie gang should we go to the next movie let's go to the next movie the next movie is a delightful movie delightful movie spirit away spirit spirited away and this is the japanese poster so the text that you see here it just says spirited away and in the english version it's up top here oops over here Boop, over there right i would love to hear your opinion on videodrome sometime classic cronenberg classic cronenberg one of the phenomenal cronenberg and blondies in it how could you not watch blondie in a cronenberg movie so good so good I, I haven't watched video drone for a long time by the way i watched it in the theater when it first came out in the 80s so good i'm pretty sure i watched it in the theater eating a burger just killed him out yeah i played for some but i'm not not more into it elder god Elder God, I understand Japanese, but I didn't get this movie. You didn't get this movie. How could you not get this movie? Elder God, show the love. It's beautiful. It's fantasy, right? Indeed, fantasy. The innocence of a child uh, growing, right? The responsibilities of a child, the ignorance of the parents, the, the lack of understanding their surroundings right uh, the mythology of it the the whole concept of commitment right it was beautiful and all of uh 
uh, Studio Ghibli movies have a have, have an element of protecting nature environment as Earth being Gaia, right? Earth being alive. That's one thing that is, you know, the consistent theme of all of really Studio Ghibli movies is the Earth is alive, right? Brilliant, brilliant, fantastic. By the way, I saw this movie when it first came out in the theaters twice in the theaters when it first came out maybe three times and loved it loved it cornflakes chicho can't get a get a muff of this movie it's on netflix and i can't stop watching it i first seen it when i was uh when i was somewhere in my single digits of age cool cornflakes by the way corn cornflakes and anybody else if you love this movie if you watched this movie you liked it you owe it to yourself to watch every studio ghibli movie out there after this movie go to princess mononoke okay after princess mononoke go to howl's moving castle after howl's moving castle go to my neighbor totoro after my neighbor totoro go to grave of the fireflies and then from there go wherever you want Clentes Spirit Away is one of my favorite movies from my childhood. Uh, the title doesn't directly translate to Spirit Away, though. It doesn't. What does it translate to? Jessica, the great thing about Spirit Away is that there are no bad guys. Everything in the movie is solved by people coming together and working out their problems. Oh, fantastic. I never even thought about that. Oh, awesome. Jessica Hot Gems. Fantastic. I never even thought about that. There are no bad guys in it. Very good. Very good. And everybody has somebody they love and like and they're involved in their lives. Oh, I never even thought about that. Fantastic. Cheryl, this was the first time I watched it, which I really regret because it is wonderful. Oh, Cheryl, you must have been awestruck. You must have been going, ah, oh, right? Elder God, too much darkness in my life at the moment. I can't see the rainbow for the rain that I'm watching, uh, uh, watching leave. Elder God, watch uh, Princess Mononoke. Elder God, Studio Ghibli movie, watch Princess Mononoke. It has the darkness you, you need. Uh, and it portrays it well but it is rejuvenating princess mononoke really it's phenomenal wing nut how are you doing yeah cheryl to jessica very good wing nut hi chicho hope you are keeping well love for my lots of love right back ireland lots of love right back wing nut thank you very much matt the childhood essence innocence is something that i can easily that's something that can easily be returned to when i watch this movie the magic was not even explained and i love that crypticness yeah poco rosso is amazing my fave is poco rosso your favorite uh zubrowski poco rosso uh it was okay with me but not my favorite of studio ghibli that's for sure but all studio ghibli movies are amazing right alexander 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 i hope or alex i'm gonna say alex because i'm gonna forget alex i remember seeing howl's moving castle as a child and it blew me away yeah <laughs> it like really i see people in in the western world uh, show their kids like western animation and they've never shown them studio ghibli movies and i'm like what are you people doing you have to show your kids studio ghibli movies because that is magic right there are amazing western animations as well right but they're few and far in between like 
you know, you show them some of the more recent Disney animations, like what was that frost thing or whatever? I watched five minutes. I was like, oh God, right? You can't compare it to Studio Ghibli. Like as a child, and by the way, for our relatives and our family, one of the things I used to do, I used to have movie nights at my house once a week or once a month, once a month at least, or twice a month or something like this, where the kids would come over, my cousins would come over, we lay down pillows and I show them movies. A lot of Studio Ghibli movies, a lot of Shaw Brothers movies, a lot of foreign movies. They still remember it. One of the ones I showed them was a Shaw Brothers movie called uh, uh, the Crippled Masters 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Studio Ghibli movies, they loved. They were in awe with it. Have you seen Princess Mononoke? Indeed, indeed. Grave of the Fireflies, Coda. Amazing and heartbreaking. My fave, fave is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Phenomenal. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. What an amazing Studio Ghibli movie. Oh, never mind. All about the uh, Princess Mononoke. Indeed, Sean, yo. If, gang, if you haven't seen Princess Mononoke, watch it. Matt, even No Face was a friend in the end helping the twin grandma with her stitching yeah and no face was such a such a amazing character right it's on my film portfolio awesome elder god contest i don't remember the exact title in japanese but it has to do with the name of the main character when i visited japan a lot of people didn't know the movie by the name spirit away really Okay, good to know, Alex. But unfortunately, I didn't see much more from Studio Ghibli, and I don't even know why. It, it was hard to come by uh, Studio Ghibli movies before the internet, really, right? Before pirated in my part of the world, before pirated DVDs was making their way here. Okay, I love that anime. Yeah, Akira is the anime film that I keep coming back to. You have to go back to Akira every every few years and free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Ah, Julian Assange, indeed. Zabrowski, Chicho, Poco Rosso scene where it shows all the ghosts of the pilots, uh, pilots from different nations flying towards heaven together. Just some scenes people forget. I, yeah, at, when they were at the bottom of the sea when they were coming up, I remember some like but I don't remember it. Poco Rosso. I, I gotta watch it again. I've only seen it, I think, twice, and this was like a long, long time ago. The Studio Ghibli movie that I didn't that's my least favorite is Ponyo. This that's the movie that's least favorite to me. Ponyo. It's just and I know I have friends that that's their favorite Studio Ghibli movie, right? Oh my God! Frozen made me psychotic. A comment I I see regular in Disney form. I follow. Yeah, I watched ten minutes, whatever minutes of Frozen, and I, I turned it off. I was like, Oh my God, what is this crap? And it was like one of the biggest grossing movies. I'm like, Phew. I think from Up. Up was great. I didn't see any interesting Eastern Eastern animation movies. Sean Yo, Eastern animation. Chicho, how do you feel about Heyo Miyakazi hatred against USA? Also, have you seen uh, Seven Samurai? Yeah, for sure, I've seen Seven Samurai. And I don't know uh, Miyakazi's personal life. For me, it's the art, it's the message in their art that they're sharing that matters to me with a disclaimer there are some uh some music some movies that i've watched in the past where i find out that the artist was a piece of crap and that movie doesn't mean much to me anymore uh, or that music doesn't mean much to me anymore right check out one of the earliest miyakaza films called lupin 3 i've seen lupin 3 so good <laughs> really fun to see how his animation progressed yeah yeah lupin 3 is fantastic super fun it's like uh japanese uh 007 
if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I haven't seen it for a long time, right? Clen Cali, Cali, Cali. I'm gonna call you Cali. Uh, I hope that's okay. They showed a lot of the Ghibli movies on German TV when I grew up. Also watched Akira in Japanese cinema. It was really nice to nice to experience. Cool, cool, cool. Nights of Old Comic. What movie are we now on? Uh, which coming up? We're talking about uh, right here. It blends in really good with the background, actually. Spirit Away, sent to Chio no Kamakushi, Ghost in the Shell, fantastic, of course. Uh, check that out, Ghost in the Shell, the movie, first se uh, first uh, series, second series, fantastic. Have you watched Coraline Chicho? Yeah, I liked it. I like Coraline, super fun. Alex, here in Italy, I remember that a lot of Studio Ghibli movies were on TV years ago. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, God. My Japanese is tourist, but 1,000 chi. <laughs> Western, sorry. Oh, Western. I read Eastern. I was like, what? Ponyo is the only other that I've seen, and I loved it too, Cheryl says. Definitely telling me that my kiddo and I need a studio ghibli cheryl you haven't seen all the movies studio ghibli movies i've mentioned you gotta be kidding me cheryl you're in for a delightful month if you do it this month there's i don't know how many studio ghibli movies out there 12 14 16 studio ghibli movies i can't remember they are all amazing all of them all of them absolutely amazing and i can't wait man cheryl <gasps> Oof. okay check this out one of the most powerful movies you will ever see and beautiful movies you will ever see and you will it will make you cry is grave of the fireflies you can save that one for you're in the mood to do so okay that one is very unique okay all the other ones are they're not tear jerkers okay yeah matt there's a saying that says i wish i could watch uh, uh blade runner i had a friend that used to say i wish i could watch blade runner for the first time cheryl i wish i could watch all of the studio ghibli movies again for the first time because they're jaw dropping absolutely beautiful okay jessica have you watched the japanese movie tetsuo iron man and its sequel those films are trippy tetsuo 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 wasn't that the name of the character in akira I don't know if I have or not. I don't think so, Jessica. Jessica, if you're on our Discord, can you link it up in our either animation or movie folder? That way I'll remember to check it out. I have never seen... You have never seen Blade Runner, Elder God? <laughs> Elder God, you've never seen Blade Runner? I'm jealous, dude. Dude. And by the way, there's different cuts of Blade Runner. I personally like the original cut with the narration some people say the director's cut without the narration is better i like the narration okay uh so just just know that and it's based on a philip k dick novel uh do androids dream of electric sheep okay do androids dream of electric sheep brilliant 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 they truly made me a happier person matt yeah studio ghibli, ghibli movies are one of the great pleasures in life that I've had. Really, one of the great joys in life that I have had. I, I'm, I, am, I am a better human being for having watched Studio Ghibli movies. And you can't really say that about very many movies or studios. Okay. Jessica, sure will do. It's a mix of live action and animation. Oh, Jessica, I'm excited. Cool, cool, cool cornflakes chicho i've never seen blade runner either dude what are you guys doing but my brother had and he's loved it indeed 
Robot humans creep me out. The other God says, I have read the book. You read the book, dude. You gotta watch the movie. You gotta watch the movie. Zabrowski, apparently, Brain Runner and Alien Universe is the same. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Zabrowski, makes sense. Makes sense. That's what creeped me out, out to start with. Really, Elder God? Blade Runner is top 10 movies. Like, if you have to pick top 10 movies of all time, top 10 movies of all time, I have a hundred that I would constantly switch between, right? There's some that would always be in there, right? Like, Lawrence of Arabia for me is will always be in my top 10 movies. And I highly recommend watching Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Zhivago okay you don't like the skin bags as Brodsky says gang should we go to the next movie we got one more movie and we got 20 minutes sweet our time is pretty damn good dead man johnny depp's best movie as far as i'm concerned better than edward scissorhands better than all the rest i think this is johnny depp at his best that's my opinion fantastic movie brilliant movie uh very well done great story uh a historical piece really raw dirty real cheryl lawrence of arabia i used to say for the longest time it was my favorite movie of all time it has as far as i'm concerned it has if you had to pick 10 of the most brilliant movie scenes in history lawrence of arabia has three of them for me scarface is a couple as well jessica i popped in it into your film channel awesome thank you very much jessica i'm gonna make sure i tag it and try to find uh, a streaming service for it star trek tng also fills me with joy yeah me too matt star trek indeed nobody was amazing yeah <laughs> nobody good music and then good music and that man just the scenery just the just the rawness of it right the unnecessary the unnecessary violence of it the unnecessary uh, brutality of it Was it Neil Young? The music for Dead Man was Neil Young, Cheryl? Zabrowski Chicho, have you seen Alien Prometheus? The android bleach bleaches his hair to resemble Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, was that what he was doing? I've seen uh, Prometheus. Yeah, I didn't like it as uh, I thought it could have been done much, much better. Right. But it was fun sci fi. It was a good addition to the Alien franchise. I didn't realize it was I, I gotta watch it again. I only watched that I think maybe twice. I think once probably. Salute gang. Strawberry liqueur. Weekend at Barney's. Hi Chicho. I know it's movie club uh, tonight, but I'd like to ask you about a particular social problem. What do you think of uh, cultural appropriation? I think it's over played i think uh what people are doing they've they're they're turning our society into uh identity politics that way they're distracting people from the real problems in our lives okay that's just a quick version other than um uh, you know we could get into it deeply there there are certain times where it's like brutal like what are you guys doing and stuff like this but people are taking things out of context and they're distracting humanity from what's really going on in the world okay but politics and politics streams we can definitely talk about it on our next politics stream again to our news i'd be happy to okay elder god i didn't watch this movie i have a big issue with westerns and johnny depp viewing only gets me to donnie brasco generally ah uh, donnie brasco was a good movie too donnie brasco was one of johnny depp's best movies i think uh makes you angry right but elder god is worth the watch 
is worth a lot. He's a totally different character in this, really. It's just very surreal. Knights of Old Comic, Chicho, quote, some are born to uh, sweet delight, some are born to endless night. Haha. <laughs> yes, Neil Young did the music. Awesome, awesome. Neil Young gang, fantastic. Canadian, Cinnamon Girl. What a fantastic song, Neil Young. I used to play that on the drums with uh, uh, band members. My cinnamon, cinnamon girl. We get a very should win earlier. Elder God says, I just arrived. And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Right. Alexu, VL, what's that man about? I've uh, never seen it, but Johnny Depp is such a good actor. It's basically that man. It's what the West was about, which was about survival. People trying to get by. It's about different cultures blending together about unnecessary violence early deaths lawlessness to a certain degree it was about money profit it was about the west and it was a fantastic portrayal of the west it was very much in the same light as um unfor unforgiven Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood. That was one of his that was one of his best Western movies aside from the spaghetti westerns that he did, right? CA is trying to steal my Kentucky fried chicken to politics. <laughs> Keep politics on politics stream. Alex Chicho, have you seen uh Patterson from uh Jarmoshu? I think it's an underrated gem. I don't know this no i don't think so it doesn't ring a bell at all alex again if you're on discord please link it up and gang if you guys uh, are on our discord page if you mention a movie link it up discord and just know this tomorrow these movies that we're talking about right now are movies that we picked on a previous live stream that we did we sort of people recommend movies we run a poll and people vote up movies to see what we're going to watch tomorrow we're doing one so our routine for these live streams is we're doing movie streams back to back, right? So, or in the same set, right? So we pick movies in one, one, you know, one stream, that's the way we started. And then we watched, we talked about those movies and then we pick new movies for the next month. So this is, this is going on basically sort of a monthly movie club or a month and a half, two months, sometimes it goes as long, okay? It sounds like a very interesting film. I will uh, give it a watch with my friends. Yeah, it's very cool, very cool characters. It's got a little bit of psychedelics in there, trippy scenes. Um, it's got the indigenous character in there, Native American. Um, it, it's, it, it's, it's a cool, calm movie with unpredictability, right? And, and you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, 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 and then you move on and you're like, it's the, it's, it's just unnecessary uh, lives wasted because of certain circumstances. And there's this whole story to it where it's just like, oh, unfortunate, 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 and beautifully shot. And it's black and white, by the way, gang. Okay. Knights of Old Comic Chicho, I love the nobody quote. Quote, nobody. Did you kill the white man who killed you? William Blake. I'm not dead. Am I? Yeah. Did you kill the white man that killed you? I'm not dead. Oh. Give it time. Give it time. Right? <laughs> William Blake, you have great poetry. <laughs> I have read your poetry. <laughs> what he's like <laughs> we get a barney's i asked about the cultural appropriation because i didn't give the right opinion when my friend got mad when she asked for my take on a certain dress style a girl in our in our fashion community did if someone's getting pissed off that someone is wearing 
a certain outfit that is making them feel amazing and is lighting them up because they think that's cultural appropriation just remind them that in 2003 the american administration lied their country into a war that resulted in hundreds of thousands of murders and millions of people being displaced okay anybody that freaks out about cultural appropriation while wars are being waged has their heads up their ass salute gang but let's keep politics on politics stream because we're gonna load this on YouTube <laughs> okay oat milk with coconut milk and water and it's got honey organic or free not free um, unpasteurized honey from the West Coast and with cardamom lion's mane and lotus pollen dead man looks like not too many people ended up watching dead man oh my oh my great movie gang watch it it's a fantastic western one of the classic western movies by the way they, like when it comes to western there's certain types of western movies that are that are filmed like there's a spaghetti western with clint eastwood with the good the bad and the ugly and fistful of dollars and stuff like this there's um the the Hollywood Western movies that were made. There's uh, epic Western movies that were made with like, uh, what was that? Uh, oh man, John Cus, not John Cus, like what was his name? Uh, uh, wolves, Running with Wolves or something like this. And then there's these types of movies. This fits in the category of the unforgiven, Dead Man, okay? Knights of Wakama Chicho. I feel Dead Man had a, a, a apocalyptic feel to it, especially as they move further into Indian territory. Yeah, it had a very terminal feel to it. Like it, it like it was almost like a post-apocalyptic scene. Like you, if you watched this movie and said this was a different setting where, let's say, this was civilization after you know three hundred years after nuclear winter or something like that. It sort of had the same feel right where the societal norms really didn't exist or right and right and wrong really dependent on might uh, and power it, it was interesting elder god quote good evening i hope you'll excuse me if i appear a trifle trifle excited but i've come i've just come into possession of a cure for insomnia it comes in capsule form for best results they must be taken internally here here is the handy applicator it is an amazing simple device an idiot can operate it and indeed maybe do what was this the alfred hitchcock quote and you were referring to oh you found that alfred hitchcock quote is that what it is that's him with a gun sitting there with a bullet alex how can I link a movie recommendation on Discord? Uh, you just go to our Discord page here. If we do this, social, the bottom link there is our Discord page. If you click on that, it goes to our Discord page. And then there's in the light section, light, there, we've got two main folders, uh, light topics and heavy topics. And there's a whole bunch of folders, subfolders in those. I think in the light folder is the film folder and you can just link it there. Weekend of Bernie's. I got a movie to recommend. Accepted 2006, a movie about four high school graduates who have been rejected by all kinds of different colleges. So, to please their parents, they went on to fake being accepted into one fake college, but not realizing that more than 400 people applied and got automatically accepted into their fake college. Ah, that sounds like a fun movie. You gotta, you gotta recommend it tomorrow, brother tomorrow from 5 p.m we're doing a movie recommendation okay that reminds me of the road um 
with our favorite actor Vigo Mortes Mortes yeah and Dead Man had a very much similar feel to the road really very nice that you brought that up really had that sim similar feel to it aside from that gang we're gonna do a movie recommendation tomorrow make it legal tomorrow <laughs> make it legal tomorrow yeah tomorrow we're doing our movie recommendation starting at 5 p.m pdt my time okay so we're gonna go for a couple hours and people are gonna recommend movies and we'll run polls to see which ones win okay Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the discussion. One per person. One per person, right? So you can recommend one movie per person tomorrow. And you put the number sign, uh, hashtag, and then the movie recommendation. And that way we know. I think that's the way we're doing it. We know what movie you're recommending. We write it down. Cheryl has been running our polls. Thank you very much, Cheryl. And we run the polls and people vote them up. And the top ones we decide to watch which is fantastic and that's the way we're getting exposed to new movies and watching some older movies that we like uh cornflakes good night enjoy the time thanks my pleasure and thank you for being here gang chicho i can't help but feel the abundance of nothing happening as well as the sudden fragility and brutality of life was an accurate representation of the wild west brother yeah i'm not sure where that quote is from but pretty much like the brutality of life and was an accurate representation of the wild west <laughs> yeah <laughs> nothing happening yeah very much so like nothing happening just wandering and just brutality all of a sudden it's just like oh man life ends so sad o oops <laughs> like crazy <laughs> aside from that gang if you want to know what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chy ch go oh that's your quote nice old comic great quote i'm gonna read it again quote i can't help but feel the abundance of nothing happening as well as the sudden fragility and brutality of life was an accurate representation of the wild west great quote and dead man portrays it very well very well pandemic how are you doing we're about to end the stream I am on Patreon, gang. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share, share, and like. Okay. Everything's layered on mathematics, believe it or not. And that you can follow the work there. And if you like what you see, and if you do have the means, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. Okay. And gang, for those of you who are supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for the support. We are live streaming on twitch and if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang thank you for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the conversations and mods again thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo mines vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content there and as we've mentioned we do have a discord page where a lot of people are sharing a lot of information and helping each other out we have math folders movie folders music folders politics folders economics folders other folders that people are sharing information and discussing certain topics we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes okay and we will be uploading this live stream to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you want to support this work on those platforms, you can support this work uh, by liking, sharing, turning on notification, commenting. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work through YouTube membership. There's a button there by joining. And for those of you who have been supporting this work on YouTube, thank you very much for the support pandemic watch says dead man was fantastic film indeed fantastic film indeed the ending what happened can't tell you you gotta watch it i'm not gonna give the spoiler of the ending at the end no way no way no way jose gang i hope you have a fantastic evening fantastic morning if you're in europe early morning if you're in europe and if you can make it tomorrow we do a movie stream we pick new movies to watch so we can talk about them in the next movie stream bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic fantastic night day morning evening bye everyone